The term meteorite is used for any object from space that is larger than a dust grain and smaller than an asteroid. According to this definition, approximately 4 billion meteorites fall to Earth every day. Most of them are medium-sized rocks. Some of these meteorites completely burn up upon entering the Earth's atmosphere, while others are able to penetrate the atmosphere and fall onto the Earth's surface. So, what would happen if a meteorite reached the Earth's surface with a speed equal to the speed of light? Let's take this one step at a time. Imagine there's a meteor made of a strong element like diamond with a diameter of 30 meters heading towards earth at a speed of only 3000 kilometers per second which is only 0.01 of the speed of light in this case as soon as the meteor enters the earth's atmosphere a violent reaction will occur generating an enormous amount of heat similar to nuclear reactions if the meteor manages to maintain its structure until it reaches the earth's surface it will collide with the surface with an energy stronger than the most powerful nuclear weapon in history and the area where it lands will be completely wiped out of of everything that was there before, as if there was no life in that place before. What just happened is the result of a body colliding at a speed of only 0.01 of the actual speed of light. Now, if we assume that we increased the dose and the speed became 0.99 of the speed of light, what would happen then is that all the bonds that connect the meteor's particles together would fail, and the meteor would turn into a mere collection of carbon atoms that would move at a very high speed. As the laws of physics say, the higher the speed of an object, the higher its kinetic energy. To imagine what would happen with this tremendous kinetic energy, especially while in the atmosphere, in normal circumstances, if we move our hands in the air, they will go around the hand and won't penetrate it but the situation with carbon particles at their high speed will be different. This is because air will enter between the carbon atoms and get trapped inside, thus increasing the size of the meteor significantly. However, once it reaches the Earth's surface, it will disintegrate again, but due to its massive size, it will penetrate the Earth with an explosive force equivalent to about 50 Chicxulub asteroids, which were responsible for the extinction of the dinosaurs, and this force will surely be enough to cause the extinction of all life on planet Earth. If we increase the speed to 99.99999% of the speed of light, the amount of energy per carbon particle will increase significantly, and the size of the meteor will be about the size of the moon. Upon collision with the Earth, it will cause a very large crater in the Earth's surface, and the entire Earth's crust will be subjected to strong vibrations, which may cause it to completely melt. As for increasing the speed to the number shown in the picture in front of you, this number represents the highest speed ever recorded for a particle with mass. One possibility is that as soon as the meteor reaches the Earth at this speed, a giant cloud of plasma and radiation will begin to form, and the particles resulting from the explosion will spread everywhere on the Earth's surface. In less than 40 milliseconds, the temperature of the entire Earth will increase significantly, and it will produce light higher than the light of the Sun itself, assuming the planet still exists in the first place. And all of this is still not even at 100% of the speed of light.